So, no, well, we've had uh, two years ago, we're going to pass uh, the measure that uh, uh, was mentioned, 91, that, uh, that made recreational marijuana legal in Oregon. Uh, since then, we've had two legislative sessions which substantially changed big portions of the bill. So, the Oregon Liquor Control Commission was tasked originally with Measure 91 to regulate marijuana in Oregon, and we've had some major shifts and changes. Um, I think we're on target to meet uh, what our goals were as we addressed the legislature with those as changes were made. Um, currently, there are about 407 licenses that have been granted in Oregon. About 50 of those licensees have not yet paid uh, here in the state of Oregon, so they can be licensed as soon as they pay. Um, of those 357 licenses then that remain, about 50 of those are retailers. Um, there's about a half dozen of those that are uh, processors, and then there's four laboratories that have been licensed in the state of Oregon, and then the remainder of those are growers. So you can see we've got a, a big front-end market uh, going on, and that's how we've tried at OLCC to try and prioritize um, things as they move through the system, uh, because marijuana that had that was that's going to be sold in the recreational stores had to first be grown and then be processed or dried or whatever form it's going to take and then uh, be put out to retail. So we're certainly on target on the, on the licensing parts. Um, there's certainly been some things bouncing around and uh, you've written about and others have written about and there's been Can articles. Can you recap those a little bit for us? What are some of the, the things that the issues that have come up? Well, one of the big issues that, uh, that we're hearing about really is the, is the testing um, that we're, we're hearing about. Um, Oregon uh, put a pretty rigorous testing program um, in place. Um, I would say that there is uh, a lot of the, uh, there is on the flower side of marijuana, I don't think that there has been a large issue related to testing. I think most of that product has been able to move to market. Um, I think on the processing side of marijuana, the oils and the other things, um, there, are, there are substantial costs that I don't think um, some of the people were prepared for. The testing methods and the amount that had to be tested uh, were not anticipated. Um, the, Oregon, the Oregon Liquor Control Commission doesn't control what, the, what those tests have to be. Actually, the Oregon Health Authority is the one who controls what those are, but they went out to third-party um, groups to get that testing regimen, and it's tested, my understanding is that it's tested just like other food and agricultural products that move through the system, um, but it's expensive, and, uh, and we're trying to deal with that capacity, and OLCC, when uh, the market came to us, uh, we convened with OHA and the governor's office and tried to meter out some of the, some of the capacity that exists in the, in the pesticide testing system. We're trying to get our arms around it, but you know, when you go from a when you go from a system that didn't have a lot of testing, really, that was regimented testing, um, now, and you saw your first reports, I think this week, related to uh, some product failing on the Oregon Health Authority side that actually got out to um, patients, um, it's problematic, and so um, it's it's slowing down that process um, to some degree. But I think we're all trying to be responsible about it. Uh, we're convening and talking to the market and trying to be flexible but at the same time protect public safety.